Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another week of Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, the Zips were down in the Deep South on Saturday night down in uh, Troy, Alabama to take on a very good Troy football team. And coach, you talk about the peaks and valleys of the football game. We could be here for an hour talking about what could have happened, but that was a tough one. We lose by a final score 22 to 17. Yeah, but you know, you always come away with something positive. This team was so resilient. We got behind yeah. 16 to 3 against probably the premier team in the Sun Belt right. Conference at their home stadium. And just played so tough, never gave in. We controlled the ball about 34 minutes of the game and then came back in the final three or four minutes to get ahead of the game, 17 to 16, and a chance to win. But they just made one more play at the end than we did. But it was a great, great way for our kids to fight, to show they could fight. You know, you come away there, you talk about heavy hearts. You had some oh. heavy hearts coming away from that stadium because of how hard this team played in that environment. But again, tough loss. We haven't loved, but we're getting to our conference this year. And I think we've learned a lot about our teams, especially this past Saturday. We learned a lot of positives about our football team. You're right, Coach. I'm down on the sidelines with you. The team was fired up. When we took the lead late, uh, they were all into it big time. And that was a tough pill to swallow. But I think they showed a lot of uh, guts coming back in that tough environment. Well, you know, uh, uh, Troy plays an upbeat tempo offense. And if you, they'll get on you early. If they get a touchdown or two early, then they, that's if you can figure it out, then we dominate the rest of the game. Oh, yeah. we, we control the, the clock, the line of scrimmage, offensively and defensively the rest of the game. Uh, and as we took the lead at the end, it was just they just made one more yeah. play than we did. It was a tough loss. Our kids are just heartbroken, like I said. But you come back, they're resilient. And now you learn a lot from that game to get you ready for the all important Mid-American Conference games the next eight weeks. Exactly. We'll open up at Bowling Green on mm -hmm. Saturday. We'll talk more about that. But, Coach, we were really one first down away from winning the football yeah. game. They had used all their timeouts. Right. Third and two. Yeah, we ended up having the ball with about four minutes left. Third and two. Yeah. And that's the third and two is a little bit like a pass situation, a run situation, because if it's to win the game, they'll play their defensive backs right on the line of scrimmage. It's almost like a goal line play. Right. Because it was, it was the defensive play to win the game, and we went with our bread and butter, Warren Ball, but he picked up about one with one short. And they know – because they needed a field goal uh, to win the game. We couldn't go for it on fourth and one and put them in field goal range. Right. So they knew we had to get those two yards on one play. And so it didn't work out. We punted it back to them. But still, they still had 97 yards to go exactly. to win that game. But like I say, they're, they're an outstanding football team. They're not picked at as high as they are in their conference for no reason. And uh, they just made one more play than we did. Well, let's go back to uh, Veterans Memorial Stadium in Troy, Alabama for first half play. Brought to you as always by Suma Health Systems. Really nice start of the game. Uh, we, did, we, we won the toss, deferred, good pressure. There's a sack on their quarterback to begin with right off the bat. Camaro made that tackle. We come back and watch this. He throws the short drag route right across the middle. John Laco comes flying up, causes the fumble. Denzel Butler, number 13, makes the recovery, and we get the ball in their territory on the 40-yard line, the very first possession. We come back. Warren Ball works outside, picks up seven or eight yards here. As you get a feel for the tempo of the game, nice pickup on that run right there. He had 112 yards. We fake the reverse. They pick it up. Nice flip by Tommy Woodson. To A.J. Coney, he picks up three. That could have been a five-yard yeah. loss. Gets us to the 12-yard line. They hold us there. We kick the field goal. Tommy O'Leary puts it through and gives us a three-point lead. Nice three points because at the end of the game, if they had not scored, we were winning 17-16. to 16. Good job there, Jordan George, making that tackle for a loss on the wide sweep. Not easy to get on us while we have good defensive speed. Chun, their tailback was a big 230-pound back. Uh, did a great job uh, being a power back. You watch him work through the middle here and drag people in the end zone as they get their first touchdown, 7-3. to three. Like I said, they play an up-tempo style. Yeah. If they're going to get you, they got to get you early because you pick up that speed. Here's an outside pass for seven yards to Warren Ball. Along with 112 yards rushing, and it was tough rushing yards on 28 carries, he also had a nice catch. Defensive interior of our line right there, Brian Rinky from uh, right here at uh, Copley High School. He gets it through. They miss, they make the, they touchdown, uh, go up 10 to 3 for us right there. 
We come back. There's Tommy Woodson throwing over here. Kevin Gladney makes the catch. Kevin's out of Firestone High School. Makes a nice catch over there uh, to get up to the 13-yard line. But when they hold us, they come back. Here's their backup, their Wildcat yeah. quarterback. Caught us a little bit off guard. He runs 48 yards up the middle for the score. Uh, and, but it just caught you off guard as they changed quarterbacks, ran the, the Wildcat <laughs> offense, and he popped it up the middle for a big play and puts it in the end zone right now for a second score. And that 16 points was all they are going to get till the final minute of the exactly. game. Defense held from this point forward. It was all Akron. It was tough yardage. There's a nice play outside. Trayvon Chapman, who's made the nice adjustment to wide out, has been our leading receiver, catches these two passes in a row. A third down catch right there. Nice job on the slant, heavily covered. And here they come after us right here, but we're moving the ball downfield. Nice throw. Austin Wolf made the catch. He had seven receptions. He was our leading receiver for the day. This is the first game he's played since he's been injured, right. a full game that he's played. There's Warren working his way up the middle, picking more yards. We're down to their 20-yard line. Now, nice job right there. And gets us in the red zone for a chance to make some points right there. But they get some pressure on the quarterback. Here's a mistake by Tommy Woods. He's a senior. He just throws it up for grabs. You don't do that in the red zone. You take the three right. points, and that was the third down, and he threw it up for grabs, and we missed an opportunity to get three points, and that comes back to haunt you. Nice job right there by our defense on the play. Good job. Uh, Featherstone made the tackle. He led our defense with 11 tackles for the day. A.J. Coney makes the fair catch on the 32-yard line. And we'll make another attempt to move the ball down the field. We've already been in the red zone once with an interception. Another nice catch by Austin Wolf. He's a senior. Has been a great player for us. Come back. Tommy sees a little bit of an opening. Watches. He finds Manny Morgan in the, in the sideline. He picks up nice yards inside the 20 again. This is right before the half, trying to get points on the board. We kick the field goal as time runs out in the first half. He misses. He shanks it. We miss it. But you see two opportunities in the red zone to get points, and we come away with nothing. That was a tough pill to swallow because we're driving down at the mm -hmm. end of the first half, a chance to have something positive happen. But even though we missed a field goal, your team came on and played maybe their best half of football. Well, we started half. about mid-second quarter. Yeah. We started to dominate. Remember, we drove all the way down. Then we threw that interception in the, in the end zone. Then we drove all the way down and missed that field goal. But we're right at that point. The defense is holding them every time. The offense is moving the ball down the field. And we took that momentum into the third quarter because you'll see in the third and fourth quarter, we possessed the ball over nine minutes both exactly. of those half quarters uh, and put ourselves in a great position to win the football game. We're going to take a break when we come back. Our special feature this week, so don't go away. We're back with more Zips football with head coach Terry Bowden right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself, to give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated. To feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine. Uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, there are a lot of Florida high school football players on this uh, football team that Coach Terry Bowden has brought to Akron, but one of the best is a linebacker, Ulysses Gilbert. Let's meet him right now. Um, a lot of my coaches had a lot to say about Coach Amato and how great of a linebacker coach he was and a defensive mastermind. And so that pretty much caught my eye just for me playing defense in high school and me playing a linebacker. So put two and two together, I felt like it was the best place for me. Oh, he's big. I mean, he's big. He's, he's been doing this now, going on three years. Uh, he gets smarter every time he's on the field. And, and he leads by his, by the way he practices. Um, how I prepared was pretty much just go to each of the uh, position coaches and, and positions players and just ask what they do on this play and what they do on this, uh, this different coverages and just learn each position. And when you learn each position, everything gets easier for you as a middle linebacker because you have to know what everybody's doing on the field. So, and also I was in the film room a lot and just training hard in the weight room and just trying to be the best player I could be. 
if you fly around, everybody else is going to come with you. And um, that's kind of like the mindset I have. If I if I just be in every every play, wherever the ball at, I just know all other 10 players are going to be with me. And so each game, I just go out there and just try to be around the ball, try to fly around, just know what I'm doing, talk, be communicative. And, um, and I just know they're just going to just come around me and group around me, and we're just going to be a great defense. My goal is, I mean, I'm pretty much just playing each day and just trying to go out there and just help my team win. And whatever goals come about and I accomplish them, then I feel great about it. But otherwise, I'm just trying to get a W. Ulysses is really doing well. Well, Coach, as you well know, you go down to Florida, you're going to recruit speed, and he is a very fast uh, young linebacker. Yeah, he's 6'2", 225, and we time him about a 4'4", every time wow. we time him, and he's got uh, – uh, got great football instincts, great work ethic, yeah. and uh, and speed. He's done a great job for us. Like Jatavis Brown, who played right. for us from uh, Belglade, Florida. He's from uh, Ocala, Florida. Comes from a good family down there, and has been a huge uh, asset on our football team. He works hard. I mean, not just the town. His key asset again is he works very hard. That's the one thing these young men need to learn. If they'll work hard, that's the most imp important thing there is: persistence, hard work. Those are the things that make a great football player. As fast as he is, he could probably play a lot of places for you. Yeah, he really could. He could be a receiver. He right. could be a running back. Yeah. Uh, he could even be a safety, but I think linebacker is his natural position. Uh, he'll get even bigger. He's just a junior. He was preseason picked as the Mid-American Conference Player of the Year, but he's been and he's been our leading tackler. He had seven tackles again last night uh, against uh, against Troy, and he's been the leading tackler for our football team this year. Hope you enjoyed meeting Ulysses Gilbert. When we come back, second half action, we'll go back to Troy, Alabama right after this. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others won't. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Well, we were at halftime of Saturday's game for the Zips down in Troy, Alabama. Akron down by a score of 16 to 3. But as we mentioned, Coach, you're going to come back and really dominate in that second half. Yeah, you know, we saw it through the second quarter. Both drives we had, we stopped them. And then we started driving the football. We didn't miss an opportunity with interception. We drive at halftime, missed an opportunity with a missed field goal. Yeah. But we're beginning to stop their offense every time, and we're really moving the ball on our offense. And so that's the way it continued with the second half. You could see if we could get the next score in this game, we would be in a position to win this game. 16-3, to three, you can add up the points right exactly. there. You could see a two touchdowns, and you're up by one. You could see that, that possibility playing out. They take pride in wearing people down, uh -huh. but you wore them down in a second. You know, we did, and I think the thing was, with the, we were on the field so long on offense, they couldn't tire down our defense, and our defense got them off the field. They want to be on for long periods of time. They want long, long, yeah. long drives to get our defense exhausted. It is more humid. It wasn't much hotter in Troy than Akron no, you're Saturday, right. but it's more yeah. humid, as you can tell out there. But we were able to keep our defense off the field. They went there fresh. They kept a lot of pressure on that team and kept getting off the field, and our offense did their part, too. So, again, all those things were working in our favor, and you'll see as it gets down to the last series of the game. Well, let's go back to Troy, Alabama. The Zips down 16-3, to battling the Trojans and also battling 27,000 fans there, Coach. They had a good crowd. They had band day. It was yeah. big excitement in Troy. They know how to have a good, exciting football Saturday in Alabama. We come back now. Here's our offense again in the, in the second half. Nice. We decide we're going to let Warren Ball carry that football. We put two tight ends in. And we ran that football. Uh, Kobe Booker, our one try. There's a tough one. We're in the yeah. red zone again now. You remember the last two times? Then the ball just slips out of our quarterback's hands. And they recover the fumble. So that's three straight times we're in the red zone and get nothing. And get nothing. But still, defense plays well. Kyron Brown, tackle for loss right there from his cornerback position. Defense continues. Doesn't get to the quarterback sacked very often. 
but got a lot of pressure on him. That was a, I want to say that was the fourth down. They went for it on fourth down. We get the ball back after stopping them. And now we get another drive going. Nice curl route right there, as you can see. I want to say that was Trevon Chapman making the catch. Tommy throws one out here, a nice slant route. Again, that's an inside route to our receiver, Trevon. He had four catches for the day. Nice day. Warren Ball up the middle with a power running, hard running, always knocking someone on their back, never getting knocked on his back. Still got this drive going. There's the deep ball. Quadarius Smith, great speed. Gets behind the defender, and in one play, bam, we're 16 to 10. And our players sense, seem to sense the upset, seem yeah. to sense we come in there and can win this football game. But it, the momentum on the sideline was incredible. Brian Bell fought through two defenders, made a great tackle for a loss right there. Just an outstanding football player. Good to get him back in the swing of things as their defense comes back. Our defense comes back up. They make a little nice run, but you see at the end a little taunting on their part right there. In our face, the flag goes out 15 yards, and it costs them two. We didn't have a great penalty day, but they had 16 penalties on their field, on their side of the ball, and then they missed that field goal. Yeah. That's a great stop by our defense because it's 16 to 10. One touchdown can mean the difference. There's Warren Ball on the outside. Nice run right there at the end of the third quarter. We've got a drive going into the fourth quarter now, and we start to put a lot of pressure on them. All the momentum has switched to our sideline now, and we can carry this game. Tommy Woodson sees a nice throw outside to Quadarius Smith. They're so worried about his speed, they give yeah. him the stop route. A lot of cushion. A lot of cushion because of the speed that he has. And uh, they hold us right there. Now, there's, here's the one I can't believe that's not called for a safety. He didn't have anybody to throw it to. Nobody he wasn't even looking in the right direction. That's the definition of a two-point safety for, for uh, throwing the ball away in the end zone. Almost had a stop right there. Almost had the interception. Didn't quite get it. Kyron Brown's right there. We come back. Here's another deep ball to Gutierrez. He gets behind the defender again for a nice reception there. Gets the ball down to the 10-yard. He had four receptions, over 100 yards. His first 100-yard game for a career. Nice run right there by Warren Ball. Keeps that body lean forward, that 230 pounds. Here's fakes one way, comes back. All of a sudden, boom, after all this game, yeah. With about three and a half minutes left, we're up 17 to 16, just needing a stop or two to win this game. Now, here's their next drive, and we shut them right down, one, two, three, and force them to punt the football. They come back to us. Nice run north and south. Looks, He gets two yards short of the first down. We're third and two, but they do a good job of holding us on third down. Now, we punt it. Watch the beautiful punt right here. Eric gets a good roll, Akron roll for us, down to the five, to the three. We hold them on the three-yard line right there and down the ball. But they come back, and here's the big play with a minute left in the game. They throw the touchdown pass to win the game 22-17. to Tough loss, but I'm going to tell you something. Learn a lot about the character and the toughness of this Akron football team. As we head into conference play, I saw a lot in that game against Troy. I'll tell you, there was almost a near pick on that drive, too. We had a diving uh, attempt to try and pick it off. That would have ended the game. Then they go fourth and five and make that one. There was, uh, it was a great a Great drive. opportunities. Again, a defense set. We had a chance to stop them right there. You know, at, at the bottom line, they made up another more play than we did. We needed to make that play to go down there and beat the top team in the Sun Belt Conference, a team that was favored in that football game. We had to make them bit one more play than they did. Uh, and they did it. Now we got to learn from that because now we get into conference play. Exactly. Right now it's time for whatever it takes moment of the game brought to you each week by Brian Heating and Cooling. Thomas Woodson hits Quadarius Smith 42 yards coach. This sets up our go ahead touchdown. Well, Quadarius is coming into his own now. He's been in track and, you know, we've got him into football. He sit, went to Missouri originally on a yeah. track scholarship to run 100 meters. And uh, we moved him here to, to play wide receiver, and he's beginning to come into his own. He's got great speed. He's making big catches. Uh, and we need a guy like that, because JoJo Natson had a knack for doing that last yeah. year. We need a guy like this that can make those big catches for us. And Quaderis, his first college career 100-yard passing receiving game, and nice play for him. Each week, Wentz Financial Group presents whose stock is rising. We went with the senior, even though uh, he has been around a while. He hasn't been playing much this year. Senior wide receiver Austin Wolf. Great to have him back, Coach. Yeah, he had a little cracked fibula. Uh, missed the first two games, probably the first three games, a little bit in the third game. This is the first full game he's played. Had six catches, had a nice day, 61 yards. Made some nice catches, got good hands, can go deep. He can catch the ball in the crowd. Nice to have Austin Wolf back. We're going to need that type of experience, that veteran at the wideout position now as we get into our conference play. We're going to take a break, come back, and announce our Players of the Week right after this. 
Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honeymead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. It takes Choice Air HVAC to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at choiceair.com. Well, right now it's time to announce our Players of the Week uh, for the Troy game, brought to you by Hilton, Akron, Fairlawn. Coach, offensive player of the week, we finally saw Warren Ball at his best. He was tough, wasn't he? Yeah, he sure had 28 carries, 112 yards, and it was tough running now. They've been a very good deep team against the run, and he, he, he worked for every yard he got. But as we came back and moved ahead of that football team, it was because of the hard running by Warren Ball. And, uh, boy, our, our linemen and our players got behind that effort uh, as he began to run for the tough yards. We didn't have a lot of long runs, but we had a lot of powerful runs. And that's what controlled the clock, kept their explosive offense off the field, and put us ahead at the end of the game. He scored the touchdown that put that's us right. ahead 17-10. to 10. Defensive player of the week, a young man out of the Pittsburgh area. Defensive back, Sean Featherstone, coach. Yeah, nice job. You know, Sack Geyser had a little head injury last week. Uh, Alvin Davis missed the first half. He steps in in safety, has 11 tackles. Uh, uh, he did a great job for us. He's really been a good, good, good uh, safety for us and did a great job making tackles, playing uh, consistently throughout the day. Really is an outstanding safety. Kind of went, Even though he's not the starter listed, he's really like a starter too as well. Our nickel and dime packages. And Sean did a great job for us. Special teams player of the week, punter Nick Gasser. Boy, he did a great job. Average 46 yards a punt. And this one almost uh, won the football game well, for Well, this, <laughs> this is what you, in a critical moment when you have to have a huge play, he takes the ball and kicks it down to the three-yard line, forces them with a couple of minutes left in the game to have to go 97 yards. Uh, you know, he's excited about that right there, to put it right there. Um, and so he really had a great job. Yeah. The net punting was fabulous, you know, and, and we were able to kick the ball high and long and give us a chance to cover it. Well, a brand new season begins Saturday at Bowling Green. It's time to play Mid-American Conference football. We're back with a Scotty Report on Bowling Green right after this. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting it soon. They're my doctors, but they're my friends. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life changing care. The difference with Once Financial Group is that we did not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, there's always special about the opening game of the Mid-American Conference as this will be at Bowling Green on Saturday. It's at 6 o'clock kickoff and really the start of a brand new season. That's right, yeah. Bowling Green is in our Eastern Division, right. so these games will count a lot as to who's going to win that Eastern exactly. Division. But I'm anxious to see our play. You know, we played the, the champ, Big Ten champion already. We played the uh, probably the new and upcoming team in the Big 12 right. in Iowa State and the Sun Belt preseason favorite. So we played some very difficult people. Two of those games, we've been in, in it down to the wire. And so now we've got to see if we've grown from that. 
uh, and we're going to face Bowling Green to start with. You've seen Bowling Green a lot the last few years. Is this the same type of team, Coach? I know their uh, their leading tackler is a kid, uh, the Jackson High School, Nate Locke, but they always like to get up and down the field. And they they do. They lost their coach to Syracuse right. a couple of years ago, but they coach they hired was from Texas Tech. He likes to play up-tempo and throw that football. Uh, they haven't had as much success so far this year. Uh, you know, if you remember last year when we played and we had a wide receiver uh, right. playing quarterback at the late in the season, we lost both of our quarterbacks. So it'll be a good way yep. for us to start. It'll be a good challenge for us in Bowling Green. There you go. We'll see you up at Bowling Green on Saturday. Kickoff 6 o'clock for head coach Terry Bowden. I'm Joe Dunn. And as always, go Zips. Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.